welcome. So have you guys come up with a wedding date yet? Mm. No, we haven't pinned it down yet, but it should fall somewhere after the Olympics, but before Fergie's baby. Oh, sounds like a big summer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I had my uh, mother's stuff sent out to me. I got her wedding dress and this beautiful handmade veil that was her mother's. Oh, you sound like you're going for the whole tradition. Oh, it's That's great. Gorgeous. Yeah. Well, it's not going to have quite the same historical flavor that your wedding had, but it'll mean a lot to me, you know, having my mother's dress at my wedding. Hey, why don't you come by later and help me try things on? Oh, I'd, I'd love to. Do you know what time it is? Uh, no. Oh, well, even if it's not a good day for you, that's no, fine. No, no, no. It's just that um, Cruz was going to be coming home. I wanted to be here for him, that's all. Oh. Something else? No, just everything that's been going on lately. He's trying to get custody of Tori's baby while she's in the hospital. and It's really not going very well. And being separated from his child is really tearing him apart. Hey, I ever tell you... Neil Armstrong was a hero of mine. Neil Armstrong, the astronaut? Yeah. 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 He once said he believed that every human being had a limited number of heartbeats. And he wasn't going to waste his exercising. My kind of man. Well, I wouldn't worry about it if I were you, King, because I don't think you're anywhere near using up your quota. Hey, whoa, whoa. Hey, mi amigo, this is hard work. Let me tell you something. It'd be even harder if you weren't using this little hump here for a headrest. You see, you spin around and put your knees over that. Hey, that's it. Forget it. Your gut. Forget it. I don't have to listen to this stuff. Abuse. What are you doing here anyway? Everyone knows you hate this stuff. I woke up this morning. I looked in the mirror. You know, a little ample. Thought it was time for desperate action. Oh, you look great. Says uh, Andrew must think so. She's she's marrying you, isn't she? Yeah, I think she's marrying me in spite of it. Uh, here we are. No, you know, I think we're probably gonna have to change the vows. You know. For better, for worse, for uh, flat stomach and love handles. No, I saw myself this morning, and I promised I was going to get myself in shape before the wedding if it killed me, which you probably well, will. Don't gripe about it, man. It's a good idea. It's good for your uh, mind as well as your body. It keeps your uh, muscles toned and your thoughts clear. Yeah, you know? shut up, man. It's a good way of working out any frustration that might come over. See all of the trouble that Kane's having with Lee and this whole situation with Cruz and Chip and Victoria, it really makes me wonder if I ever want to have a child of my own. Oh, yeah, because you're talking about two, <laughs> two cases that aren't exactly textbook. I think it's going to be a lot easier when we have your own. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, you know, I know that Cruz is feeling awful, but I can personally vouch for the, the quality of care that Chip is getting at the Major's house. Yeah, well... I'm sure he's doing everything he can, but he's not the father, Andrea. I know, but he is wonderful with kids, Eden. He, he does such a marvelous job with the children at the center. And you work with him? I mean, you know him better than I do. What kind of person do you think he is? Well, the Major's not really an easy person to get to know. I, he, he doesn't talk a lot about himself or his past. He's, he's not one of those people who really is into self-revelations, you know? But you like him? I admire him, and I admire the work that he's doing. He's wonderful with the kids. And, he has a, a personal stake in every life that he touches. I, I can't begin to even count the number of families that he's helped reunite. As far as Cruz is concerned, this is one family that he is tearing apart. Yeah, but Eden, is that really fair? I mean, uh, from what I see, he's only doing what Victoria asked him to yeah, do. Yeah, exactly, but do we really understand this reason? Does it make any sense to you that Victoria would take her child, no matter how well-intentioned, and give that child to a virtual stranger when Chip could be here in a family? I don't know. I'm sure she has her reasons, though. Yeah, well, I would like to know what they are, for our sakes as well as Chip's. Don't tell me your hands are tied. You're the one who screwed up. Well, I don't care what you have to do. I want it out on that flight, no later than the day after tomorrow. Are you all right, Major? Oh, I don't know. That was Bangkok with another delay. And it doesn't help that I'm running on less than two hours sleep. So I was afraid the child might have kept you up last night. Every time I started to nod off, Chip started crying, right on cue. Tonight, I want you to move him to the other side of the house. Well, may I make another suggestion? Why I don't... know, Kai, I know. You know, I don't think it's very wise to have him here, especially when you're involved in negotiations that take your time and your concentration. I don't need you to remind me of that. The timing is less than perfect. That's obvious. Well, then why don't you turn him over to his father? I made a commitment to Victoria. She has some compelling reasons for not wanting Cruz involved, all right? Listen, I have got a lot of work to do, 
and I've got a lot on my mind. I'm sorry to hand you some more burdens, Major, but we received a phone call from Washington. Evidently, there is someone who's doing a background check on you. Who? Well, they're trying to find that out now. However, I do know that the request originated here in Santa Barbara. Damn! Well, in light of all the circumstances, I'm assuming you want to change the schedule, at least until we find out who's doing this. No, 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 no. No, this has taken... This has taken far too long already to get everything in position. The briefing down at the docks will take place this afternoon. I don't want anything to jeopardize that transaction. We leave everything in place. Well, how about extra security? No. Oh, you concentrate on finding out who initiated that background check. And when you do, I want his name. Hey. Tell me something. You, you spent some time in Vietnam with the Major, right? Yeah. What is he like? Well, not exactly my favorite subject for discussion. But if you ask anybody, to, any of the men who served under him, they'd be willing to throw down their lives for him. A lot of them did. Yeah, but you don't like him. Why not? I guess I saw some things that I shouldn't have seen. He, uh, <clears throat> put his men at risk. Instigated some actions that I thought were reckless. I mean, it seemed like he was in it for his own personal glory instead of the safety and well-being of his men. I mean, there were days he made General Patton look like a girl's gym instructor. But some of the men loved him for it. But not you. Uh, he scared me. Not for my own personal safety, because after a while over there, you just didn't give a damn about that anymore. But there was something about his eyes, some... I don't know. I... He just couldn't figure out what he was thinking. And I don't know whether he came over there like that or whether he... that happened to him over there, but I, I didn't trust him. I still don't. How come you didn't tell me this before? Oh, come on. It doesn't come up in normal conversation. Besides, how fair is that? I mean, how can you hold a man accountable for things that happen in that insanity? Yeah, but this is the guy that's in charge of taking care of my son. I mean, you know... What the hell am I going to do about that? Well, if it was my son, I'd get him out of there right away. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh, well, it just looks like you couldn't wait to try this stuff on. What do you... <laughs> I didn't do this. Kane? Even I had everything in the boxes on the couch. Well, it looks like somebody had themselves a fashion show. And I bet I know who. Ming Lee? Andrea, I was yeah. expecting you home so soon. What do you think you're doing? Look, give me that, all right? I just wanted to see what was in the boxes. Well, why don't you try asking first? I mean, I have to come in and find my mother's dress on the floor. I was going to pick it up. You had no right to go through my things. I mean, I would never even consider going up to your room and pawing through your personal things. How dare you? Um, Andrea, look, I don't really think there's any harm done. All of this can be fixed. I'm sure she's very and sorry. No, Eden, she is not sorry. She's never sorry. She does things like this to get me mad and to cause problems. Get me out of here. No, sure. you're not. You are going to stay here and put these things back the way you found them. And you are never, ever to go through any of my things again. Do you understand? Uh, let's get out of here.